Hi everyone, I'm Ross Skull, and welcome back to the Link to the Past Randomized. Now, we are going to be going through this particular dungeon during this one, and uh, hopefully, uh, I think I have all the items for it, um, and then we're going to be messing around with a bunch of little douchebags that can bump you off and all that, so... We can do right back to him, and, oh, <laughs> probably should have gotten some sort of health beforehand, but oh well. Alright, we got this. We got half a heart. Please ignore the... Oh, uh, poop. Alright. Guys, never go in the right door first. It's terrible. But, yeah. Ah, oh, come on. Alright, there's going to be a lot of backtracking in this one. But yes, we have uh, enough money, so I think hopefully we're going to start just getting item after item, and hopefully not money after money. Like this is going to be bombs. That's fine, I needed bombs, I think, or something. Alright. Uh... Need a key for that, so yeah, we're just gonna go through here. See, so, yeah, I should have known. Left is always good. Come on, drop a heart so this isn't annoying. Get, get it. No. Alright, as I try to corral this monster. Alright. Now, I could just use the fairy now, but meh. Alright, do I have a boomerang? I don't have a boomerang. Oh well. Hopefully we'll get one soon. You know, those little uh, fire-breathing rhino things kind of remind me of the enemies in the, uh, oh, fuck, in uh, Choco Island, or Co uh, Coco Island, uh, in Super Mario World, uh, the little dinosaurs that have, like, uh, fire-breathing abilities, and then once they get older, they lose that ability for some reason. Yeah. Oh man, I I should probably play the uh random uh Super Mario World for this channel. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Uh it basically just totally randomizes every level, which is kinda dope. Alright, there we go. And let's see any Man, nothing? Alright, okay. People, you need to put things in your pots. I told you this last time. And then... Escape those. I don't really understand the concept for these, uh... These skeletons, because they're... Like, super dodgy. Except... When... There's projectiles involved. I need a lantern... I I can't do anything in here. I need a lantern. Ah, oh, god damn it. Or a fire rod. Either would work. But ah oh, okay. Okay. Um we're going to asshole. Uh we're going to go back to the first dungeon defeat the uh the boss oh god um and then what are we gonna do after that huh well I guess we we could just start going to the dark world after that yeah oh 
I know last time I should have checked the forest where the magic mushroom usually is, but I didn't. So let's do that real quick. Let's go the correct way this time. All right. And make that guy die. Make this guy die. Get killed by my bush. Um, Alright. You know, when I was a kid, going through the this area, it was so just disorienting to me. Because I kept thinking, oh man, this will lead to this area, and then, like popped out and it just didn't make any sense to me how I got in that direction. I don't, I can't get the master sword right now. Um, and then of course getting your shit stolen by the thieves, like, oh my god. It was terrifying to me. It's money. It's always, okay. It's money. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right, all right, all right. <clears throat> salty, super salty. Let's go in here. What's what's down here? Oh, there we go. Yeah, this makes me happy. Do you do you give me anything? No. Okay, but oh, that just opened up so many paths. Okay. Okay, I'm happy. Everything is good. This is a good day. Ah, uh, damn it. Alright, uh, I guess for those that are not in the know, uh, that is the hammer. And now I can squash things like... Uh, over here, since I'm going over here anyway. Like this. Boom. And then I could get to that, which is a portal to the dark world, which is probably where we're going to be going in just a little bit after I complete this dungeon boss. Whom I assume is going to be hard. But easier to get to this time, since I have to go all the way around. Look at that. Streamlined just because I could pick up a rock. Also, when I was a child, uh, I didn't really quite understand the concept of this. This little button right there. Because, like, I don't know, I just didn't pay attention to detail back in the day. Also, these were impossible. I think I made my brother play that part all the time. But, yeah, um, just like trying to find a way to open that door right there by getting behind the pot was baffling to me. But then, I don't know, this game came out in, what, 95, 96? So I'd have been 5 or 6. Alright. A little bit of a streamlined run through here. Oh, it's kind of nice. Up the kind of wet, spongy stairs. And then kill these guys. Oh, I didn't have enough time to charge. Come on. There we go. Hmm. I really hope I'm gonna get the lantern soon because it's actually necessary, like, to beat the game. You can't beat Ganon without it, which is kind of weird. And I kind of like that because it is the first, um, the first item technically 
that you can get. You can actually forego getting it at the very beginning, but who would? It's useful. Okay, just die. Just, just die. Thank you. And then you. And that's why we needed the bow. Ah, don't. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm going to go in with full health. I'm not. Oh, wait, I am. Let's do this. They kind of sound like Rhinoch from Super Mario World. Or Rez uh, Resner, that's what it was. I had to think of who was in... Ah. Sorry. Uh, the person that was in Nine Inch Nails. Also, did you know that Resner was the technically the creator of Quake because he had a D&D &D character called Quake. Yeah, fun little knowledge. I could be an education channel. Why are you still alive? Die, please. Oh, I'm out of arrows. So I suck. I suck! Please die! I don't remember him being this long. Although usually I've gotten a few arrows in him beforehand, but... Finally! Dear God. Alright. We have the first dungeon completed. Yay! Did it! Alright, and so now, I, I kind of like how they made it so, hey, if you don't have any arrows, the bow doesn't have anything on it. Um, let's go... Oh, I should have talked to the old guy. He could have given me something. Wait, does he give you anything? Um, I, I think he just gives me knowledge. But it should be fine. Just avoid this guy. And into the dark world we go! Alright, now there are a lot of chests that we can check around here. Um, nah, I don't need whatever knowledge you have because I wouldn't know what you're saying. Squawk garble, I guess. Okay, let's go to a place that actually does something for me instead of over there. Oh man, I just realized that not having the Master Sword is going to be a real pain. Oh god, it's going to be a real pain. I think that if we can just get to the the uh, the dungeon, then we'll be okay. Because I think I just need the bow for it. this wall. Not particularly helpful, but thanks anyway, shrub man. Okay, so now we're going to avoid the floppy 
And is it like the Pokemon evolved form of the penises on the ground? Just kind of wiggling together? I think it is. And they've got some sort of a... A pumpkin -y growth under them? Yeah. Something like that. Just go past all you. This maze is annoying. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's meet the monkey. This is monkey in around time. Yes, I will give you ten of my coins. Or rupees. Or money. Oh, uh, since I looked up how much rupees, Indian rupees cost per dollar, that's actually a steal for 500 rupees. Holy crap. $25 would be insane. Alright. Into this dungeon we go. And... I'm going to go ahead and call it here, guys. So, if you enjoyed the video, please uh, hit subscribe, like, uh, give a comment on what kind of games you'd like to see played on this channel. And uh, everybody have a great day and have fun. Bye.